Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 Portable. My headphones are too loud. There we go. And last time we did mission 190 with the aircraft carrier, which eh, went okay, but eh, we didn't have good enough planes for them to really be doing a significant amount of damage, which was kind of a huge problem. So, today we're going to start with a little bit of research. Probably will not take as long as last time. I doubt it will. Those are bridges we don't care for now. What else? Ah, uh, yes, we can look into new submarine engines here. We can look into... I want to look into getting better boilers because these are going to be useful. So we'll go like this and we'll go like that. And let's see. We've already got the best turbines uh, being researched. Systems, uh, I don't... Did we ever... No, we never got to the higher Silver Swan rank. We could go ahead and work on a better firing delay system. That will be useful later on. So let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's go with this one, and then we'll save the rest of our money towards getting the first battleship hull. Uh, that way, we can actually start getting bigger guns on the battleship. Speaking of the battleship, we will be using the battleship today. Now I cannot remember for the life of me what this mission is. Oh yes, I do. I remember. Okay, so. Yeah, we'll be using the battleship today, just so we don't have to worry about uh, having underpowered, um, you know, weapons and or aircraft. So, yeah. The old haymaker. Oh my goodness, I forgot how crazy that looks. <laughs> I love it. I love it and I don't. I love it because it's so ridiculous and so powerful for this point in the game, but I don't like it that much because it uh, is not... Uh, very realistic looking, <laughs> but, you know, when in doubt, just go complete overkill, right? Alrighty, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, there are subs here too, so we could go ahead and launch that guy in theory. So there are submarines on this map, right there in the middle, as you can see, on the big map. So let's try to find them. We'll go ahead and launch the scout plane so he can help us out with that. Are these ships in range yet? Oh, there's the subs, or some of them, anyways. You're, you're right there. I know you're like right there. There you are. Hello. Yeah. Come on. There we go. So we got that one. We got this guy over here. Ooh, parts crate already. Nice. First enemy sunk. We get a parts crate. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see. Oh my goodness. It feels so much better to be playing Warship Gunner 2 again and not Naval Ops Commander. Uh, overall, I like Naval Ops Commander, but man, is that a, game, a hard game to play after that long. It's just too long. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's... I mean, to a certain extent, yeah, there's, you know, definitely parts of the game that I don't like, as you could, you know, as I made pretty apparent near the end of that Let's Play. But I think it's more... A, a big contributing factor to that, a big multiplier to that, is that how long the game is. The game is so insanely long, and it just makes you... It, it feels like even more of a of a difficult grind to, to play with those kind of game mechanics for that long in a row. And that's just one playthrough. I would like to do EL2 for that eventually, but man, I need I need a significant break from that game, to be honest. Um, I will I will almost certainly do it in the future. And I say almost certainly because I mean I don't know. When I say in the future, I mean like a long while. Because here's the thing. The naval Ops, because there's so much to do in these games, the Naval Ops games, uh, Warship Gunner games, and uh, both the Warship Gunner games and Naval Ops Commander will probably be on my channel for at least the next year. Because I'm doing this, and then I'm going to do EL2 in Warship Gunner 1 and 2 and Naval Ops Commander. So Naval Ops stuff will be on my channel for at least the next year at that rate. Um, so, you know, It'll happen eventually, but when I say eventually, I mean very eventually, like way, way out there. Because out of all of the games that I want to do EL2 in, I don't know. What I might do is I might do Worship Gunner 2 EL2 first, 
because I know that's probably the one people want to see the most. Then I'll do... I mean, this is all after I finish this game, of course. Then I'll probably try to do... Um, then I might try to do Naval Ops Commander, and then Worship Gunner 1 EL2, but I, I feel like... I don't know. The Worship Gunner 1 EL2 might be a nice... Um, a nice refresher after the Naval Ops Commander EL2. Which is why I kind of want to do the EL2 for Naval Ops Commander but first, but I don't know. I haven't quite decided on all that yet. Also, we've got some rather large enemy ships over there that I would like to deal with. ASAP. Zoom out so I can see what's going on. Uh, with cannons that size, they will probably very quickly sink uh, these transports. But yeah, um, Naval Ops Commander, well, Naval Ops, the series, will be on my channel for a long time to come. So, if you figure I do one video a day, and Naval Ops Commander, the 77 episodes, that's about two and a half months that I spent on that game alone. Which actually isn't that long when you think about it, but man, it felt like it took forever. And is significantly longer than Worship Gunner 1 or 2. Which both, I think, I ended up with... I think Naval Ops, or, uh, yeah, Naval Ops Worship Gunner, I think, ended with, uh, 45 episodes, and then Worship Gunner 2, I think, had 49, or, like, in the low 50s or something. So about a month and a half to a month and two-thirds-ish. So, if you consider this will probably be about 50 episodes, like Worship Gunner 2 on the PS2 was. So you got, this will be about 50 episodes, I'm guessing. This is really just guessing at this point. Um, then you figure Worship Gunner 1 EL2 might be 40 to 50 episodes, and then Worship Gunner 2 EL2 will probably be 50 episodes or so. Um, you know, if you put all that together, that's half a year, almost. Or is that, yeah, that's almost half a year right there, just in everything before Naval Ops Commander. And you factor in Naval Ops Commander EL2, which could be slightly less episodes, or maybe even slightly more. It might be slightly less because there will be less research to do, but it could be slightly more if we run into some serious difficulties on the missions. Um, which we might not because we have the wave gun, which is freaking awesome. So I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but in any case, Naval Ops uh, will be on my channel for a long time to come, and the secondary Let's Play will always be significantly shorter than whatever uh, the Naval Ops game is going on, so maybe I shouldn't call it secondary Let's Play, because it's not really secondary, it's like complementary to this. You know, it's not like I prioritize one over the other, They're, they have equal prioritization on the channel. I put the Naval Ops up videos up first, I upload them an hour earlier because I know that that's kind of where my channel is based at. That's why people found my channel in the first place, most of them anyways. Um, that's what I started with, so... You know, I kind of stick to those roots pretty closely, but, uh, yeah. The second Let's Plays that I do are are more, they're not so much secondary, they're complementary, I'd say, to the Naval Ops games. For example, the Ruse episode that goes up today is over an hour long because the first, well, the second, mi uh, the first mission I did, which is the second to last mission in the game, was only about 23-ish minutes, 24 minutes or something, and I was like, um, yeah, let's do the next episode, or the next mission, the last mission, and we'll call it, uh, a big special finale episode, so it's over an hour long, but the last, like, I don't know, I haven't edited yet, so it's hard to tell, but the last lot of that is just credits, which most people will probably skip through, so, yeah, um, but just like, a, I, you know, I figured it was like a big finale thing, we might as well make it, uh, a special length episode. I don't think it's the first time I've had, well, that might be the longest video I've ever had, but I know that we had a Battle Stations video that was close to that, so, hey, Silver Swan Rank 10, nice. So now we can get our new auto-load systems. Oh, darn it. Do I want to do that or do I want to go for a... Ooh, I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to go for a battleship hull first. Hmm. Let's go for the battleship hull first. Then we'll go for the auto-load systems. Because the auto-load systems aren't as useful until we have the bigger cannons, which I want quickly. 
So 210. Why does this mission stand out in my head? ショウサ、帝国軍が野員に乗じてイギリスへ攻撃を仕掛けてきた。敵艦隊はスコットランド沖のスカパフロー海軍基地制圧を目論んでいるようだ。戦術の作戦成功によって、共和国軍が大規模
Um, research. We still need more money to get up to a battleship, so we're gonna keep saving up for that. Do we have time? Do we have time? See, my concern is we'll have plenty of time for the mission, but the dialogue will make the episode long, which I don't want. Uh, well, the longer I sit here and think about it, the longer it's gonna take. So let's go. <laughs> we'll try to speed through this. Yeah, if anything is gonna make the episode run long at this point, it's dialogue. So. Fantastic weather in the game, as you can see. Just absolutely perfect sailing weather. Have a nice outdoor picnic on the deck. All right, let's go. Charge this way. If I had more time, I would have uh, looked into getting um, the necessary research for a helipad and a helicopter. But I really was kind of uh, making a snap decision there, and I decided let's just go for the mission. Um, the carrier hull is nice, and in fact, I have no problem um, coming back and getting that off camera. So I, I might do that, but uh, I will show you where the land base is once we get over there. Actually, if I zoom in on it right now, there's the island. You can see when the lightning flashes, that building over there is your secret base. Now, you need a helicopter to be able to pick it up. Um, but that's your secret base. That's where you get your treasure. So there, at least I've pointed it out. Now, off camera, I will go ahead and get that. Probably just with a helicopter on the aircraft carrier. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Destroyers and stuff. Cruisers that are surprisingly tough, actually. I keep forgetting how tiny our guns are. I do like that I, uh, once I, I it took me forever to actually realize what the, what the signal flares are and what they do, but once I figured it out, like, now I'm really glad that I started using them, because they do make it a lot easier. You don't have to just, you don't have to sail around in, like, 15 circles anymore, just pick up a few survivors. And now it's daytime all of a sudden. I don't know when that happened, but uh, I won't complain. We got some planes incoming. HE 111. Isn't that a German plane? Is it? I can't remember. I don't know aircraft that well, so I apologize. Uh, what's over there? We got uh, battleship. Is that a like a Nelson class or something? It's either a Nelson class or an Azumo. Probably more likely a Nelson class, I guess. I know that. On one of them, the number three turret faces forward, and on one of them, the number three turret faces backwards, but I can't remember which is which. But the Azumo and the Nelson class both have that same kind of all three main turrets with three guns each in the front of the ship. I just can't remember which layout is which. I think the Nelson has to where all three of them are facing forward, and the Azumo has it so that the number three gun is facing backwards. I think. But don't quote me on that. And then the other thing about these signal flares is like just in the middle of combat, you can go ahead and launch the, the flare and just pick up survivors while you're still fighting. Like it only takes a second to just do that. Just switch down to it and go back up again. Did he drop a crate that I care about? No, he did not. So we're gonna get this one's crate, maybe. Oh, we're gonna, yep, there we go. I love that so much. That's another thing I do not miss from Naval Ops Commander, is having to ram crates directly. And then even, I noticed a few times with the uh, the ship that we had at the end of the game, um, I won't spoil what that is, uh, but yeah, uh, the ship that we had at the end of the game, the hitbox wasn't quite right. So like the side of our ship would actually graze the crate and just, and just, clip through it and without actually picking up the crate, which is really annoying, but, yeah. Let's hit this battleship here for everything we're worth. There we go. That'll make everybody stop for a moment. Let's hit that lead destroyer. Now everybody will stop. There we go. Nice, nice. Kill all these destroyers so we don't have a torpedo threat anymore. Launch one signal flare. Go grab that funds crate there. I really do like that signal flare, it's very useful. 
I, well, I hope our fire extinguisher works this time. Not like it didn't in the carrier last episode. Here's the battleship right here. Even like when you're using battleship guns, you can go ahead and launch your signal flare while your guns are reloading, because it'll probably take that long for your guns to reload anyways. Alright, the fire is not going to put itself out anytime soon, it looks like, so we'll just go ahead and do that manually. There we go. We'll grab this, we'll go grab the funds crate, and then we'll head down to deal with the other ships. And hopefully this will not be an insanely long episode. I apologize right now. I apologize if this is kind of a long episode. Um, cause, uh, yeah, if, if anything, like I said, it'll be dialogue. Makes it run over, but, yeah, it's not too big of a deal, I don't think. I just, I know that longer episodes are harder to, to swallow in one sitting. Um, cause I, I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch more YouTube than I record. So, I understand that long episodes can be difficult to, to work with sometimes, so I try not to do that too much. But I understand that, I also understand that it happens. There's only so much I can do to control the length of an episode. Such as cutting out this journey over here. Save a few precious seconds. Alright, they're in range, I'm going to start shooting now. Wish I could hit the lead ship wherever it is. It's a battleship. Let's hit that guy first. We'll hit the battleship and then we'll get the carriers. And then we'll deal with everybody else. And I'm pretty sure that's a Nelson class. And then I remember from the PS2 version, or I seem to remember from the PS2 version, that all these ships are uh, British ships as well. So that would also make sense. Hi, Nagi. What's up? Did we do it? Are you telling me? Yeah, that's a happy face. Yay, she's happy. Hooray. Hooray, we must have did it. We must have done it, I mean. English is a funny language. <laughs> it's my native language, and I'd I still suck at it. Alright, let's go back real quick and just finish sinking all these guys. Yeah. And, uh, here we go. This, and this, and one more. You're done. Alright. So yeah, next time I will come back, uh, I'll start the episode, do my intro, and then I'll get Japan Carrier 5 as the treasure, uh, but that will allow me to show you guys the research and everything that I'll do to get it. I'll, I'll make a cut, pick up the, come back in the mission, do the thing, bring you guys back, and we'll design Carrier 5 next time. That's how we'll start the next episode. Alrighty. I'm betting we got another S rank. We sure did. It's not like those are super hard in this game. Hey, a 45, a 41 centimeter gun. That'd be cool if we got more than one of them, and if it could be more than one barrel. I wouldn't even mind the 45 caliber if we could just have more barrels for it, but oh well. Yeah, I can't wait to get uh, the new aircraft carrier. Uh, we want to save over the same one? Yes, because this is the same recording session. So yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. Year E-234. I remember this mission. I do remember this mission. It's not just a uh, kind of remember it. I remember this one. Oh, good. Straight into the briefing. This will help. It's going to be uh, probably a 26-minute episode. 20, uh, 26 minutes. <laughs> Hong 
逆にその船が無事でいるなら何か情報がつかめるかもしれません気象情報を見ると捜索予定海域では霧が出てきているようですね霧が濃くなると視界が悪化し航空機が発進できなくなる可能性もありますご注意くださいグズグズしては無事なものも無事でなくなる直ちに出撃する総員配置につけ Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, so basically, there's an allied ship that's lost in a super deep, thick fog,、um, and we have to go and find him and rescue him. But that'll be next time, as well as research and getting the new carrier hull and all that stuff. So here's the, the new research this time. A bunch of stuff that I can't read because it's in Japanese. Oh, look, more planes. Hey, okay, that'll be it for this episode of Warship Gunner 2 Portable. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.